My name is Andre Freeman. I'm fifth degree black belt in martial arts. I'm here at the after school program at Bentlow Recreation Center. I've been teaching here for over 14 years. Chad Wiles. Help you breathe better. Wiles, Wiles will be key out. One of the first things that we try to teach is the respect. The respect of the dojo is coming from you starting from the door. As, as we come in, we all bow to the door, we neigh to the door. That shows a sign of respect as you come into your dojo. And learning to respect one another. You know, we teach each one to respect one another. Um, and once they learn to respect one another, so they learn that they, we're all one family and we're going to help one another. So teaching the respect part is the first thing. When you bow, you do not you do not get up until the other instructor do. When you bow, it's like saying good evening or good morning or anything like that. Take it in. Your, your breathing is, is very important, especially when you're exercising and doing martial arts. It helps you focus, it relaxes your muscles, it relaxes your mind, and it also keeps you focused. And sometimes you might hear them key on. And key on is forcing the air out through a loud sound of saying A or key on loud. Um, that, that helps to force the air out, tightens your muscles up, builds your confidence up. And when we practice it in self defense mode, it also scares your opponent. When you breathe in, you help your lungs. When you breathe out, it's like you put oxygen in and you put oxygen out. Breathe it in, out, in, and out. And out. Blow it out. Yeah. Good. Breathing is important because if you don't breathe, you will not be able to catch your breath. And if you don't let out the air, you will just hold it in. And then when it hits you, it will hurt very hard, very badly. We try to work on certain techniques that's going to help them develop that as far as breathing. Standing at attention, looking straight ahead, um, just not looking around when, whenever noise is distraction, avoiding distractions, things like that. So we try to distract them, make sure that they stay focused. We hope that this transfer, especially to my students that are in school, so when they're in school that they're not looking around, they can stay focused on their lessons. So we try to transfer the lessons here taught at the Martial Arts Academy to the educational portion also. You don't move, you don't look around, you're looking straight ahead, no matter what happens. It helps me in school by doing discipline, by staying focused. Some of the things that I learned here, I can use at home, like discipline, to stay focused on homework, and stay focused in class, and never give up. You gotta step in close on, yeah, good. And then you wanna grab him, that's when you grab him. Got it. Much you always told me about myself that um, confidence, and um, um, I got discipline in myself, and I'm very focused. Good, very good. You want your block over here, blocking your face. Martial arts has taught me to be respectful to others and adults and to stay disciplined and work and whatever you're doing. And it just helped me to calm down and not get to fights and defend myself when something goes wrong. Ho, 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 ho! Mr. Dominique Gray, give me a trick down. If you ask someone, my signature move would be the sweep move. I tell them I'll sweep them in a minute. <laughs> I grew up here at Benton. Um, I was inner city, um, didn't have anything to do, and the recreational system helped me by playing sports, keeping me out of trouble. When I learned martial arts, I wanted to come back and give back. This is my way of giving back to inner city uh, children, just to try to give them some focus and give them something other than what's happening out in the streets. So it's not just about martial arts. It's, we try to make it a whole full package thing, just to try to build strong, good human adults. That's, that's my mission.